be good. Two hours is fine enough. Okay, so we're live. I'm Robert, your host for Bits For You. Uh, I have my gorgeous, awesome-tacular, fan-fucking-tastic wife with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so, things we discussed in this episode... We discuss Glow, season two. How many episodes did we see? Was of these? Of Glow, yeah. Was it two, three? three? I think so. How, how are you liking this? Uh, this uh, the first uh, few episodes of the second season. It's just as good as the other one. Yeah. At least to me, it is. You have any favorite characters? The Russian. Uh, uh. Sorry, excuse me. The Russian. The Vash, the Russian. That's your Russian accent? <laughs> your Russian impersonation. <laughs> <That's so bad. laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah, it's it's very very well done again, uh, season two well written. Uh in, in the actual episode, Javier was the only one that had seen it at that point. So then I'm doing this intro a few days after. I was able to catch up and I wanted to give you guys a Opinion, yeah. Oh, come on, it's wrestling. Oh, <laughs> and uh, he grew up with with Glow, and it was you know the late eighties. So, yeah, why not? Right. Uh, another thing we go deep into this uh, in this podcast is the Netflix six part documentary Wild Wild Country. Oh. So, I gave my thorough opinion on it but what was your thorough opinion I'm gonna ask I you I enjoyed it a lot you know I love cult stuff and I don't know it's just really good but it's wait they the Americans and the people uh, of Oregon called it a cult do you really after watching six hours of that still consider it a cult yeah because technically the word cult means when people separate themselves like that into an area that's a cult but now it's at the There's at the end leader. at the end you'll see that in it's it's practiced still till this day yeah. in many countries but at the way they were taking it mm -hmm. at that point that was a cult can you elaborate what do you mean elaborate what what what, what do you consider to be a cult where they're so well according to the the show supposedly they were like trying to make the uh, the people in Oregon. I forgot the name of that little area that where they uh, were. It's Wasco, uh, Wasco County. Yeah, and they were trying to make them sick, and like that to me is cult style. Right. Not I thought it was confirmed. We no, don't really know. Right. We don't really know. But was weren't they trying to make um them sick? Because only because the, the 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 town wanted them to leave. Yeah, but it doesn't matter why. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. Like, how would they? I, I wonder how they would react if if they would have been left alone. The town, the who, the who? The the Rashnishis people oh, in, I in think the town. They would have lived in peace and harmony with them. So they, where they were basically defending themselves. They were retaliating. Right, retaliating. To an extreme, extreme thing. Yeah, they were breaking yeah. laws. Yeah, you're right. They're, that's the part that I don't agree with. But um, here's a definition of cult. First of all, here's a definition of a religion. Um, a religion is a devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. Okay? That's religion. Here's a definition of cult. A system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. What's the difference? We're pretty much close. Yeah. But to me, religion, the religions I've seen, are they're um, idolizing or honoring a person that's no longer around. In the so case it, of Buddha. And so that means it's Jesus okay Christ. to... No, no, no. Wow. I'm not. Okay. That's the difference. Right. With the cults, and you know all the cults, they all have a leader. And they all idolize right. that one person when that's not even... 
That's not correct. Why not? Because. How is that different from Christian? How is that Christian from uh, uh, Judaism? Is it, am I saying it correctly? Judaism? And Christianity, when they worshipped a guy that was alive, supposedly, and he walked on water. So and they don't. not correct. Okay. No, but, but how is that different? It's different because that person is no longer around. So you have to be no longer around to be a legitimate religion? No, babe. I'm not saying okay, that. Okay, so what are you trying but to say? But that's the difference. That's the difference to me. To religion, you? Yeah, religion. So they have to be dead. Because you just said it right now. That's the difference to you. That's they, one of the differences okay. between cults. Mm -hmm. To me, all the cults that I've seen, it's a live person. Mm -hmm. A live leader. And it's a leader. Mm -hmm. what, what happened? Um, oh, you cut yourself? Okay. Okay. So, this documentary. It was good. It was I enjoyed good. it. I wish I could continue watching did more you, stuff about it. Did you feel, we discussed it um, when we were watching it, that they they sort of showed both sides. They didn't actually show, well, you, you can't say you're, shake your head. You gotta, people yeah, can't see. Yeah, they did. Okay. They both they showed both sides and and them showing both sides kind of makes you wonder who was right and who was wrong the right, entire time. Right, because the government also did things. Remember how they of kept course. him at three weeks in the bus and in different cities to kind of torture him, uh, you know, mentally torture him psychologically to get him to break and to confess to his, uh, you know, the things that the the government was accusing him of, and he finally confessed because yeah. he was so. You know, he was deteriorating, too. He didn't live long after that, right? A few years? Yeah, a few years. Yeah. Very good documentary. Highly recommended. Yeah, you would fall asleep, and I would want to continue I, We were watching that shit like a fucking 10 o'clock at night. Of course I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> but it was good. Very, very well done. And, yeah, that's it. What what else did we do recently? Do you remember? Uh, we went to see something. The Purge? The Wasp. And the Purge. The what? Is it called The Wasp? What's The Wasp? The Ant oh, Ant-Man. Ant-Man and The Wasp. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, we saw that uh, Friday night when it was released. Oh, that was actually the release. Yeah. Uh. Friday night, yeah. They do early shows on Thursday night, like at 7 p.m., but actual nationwide release is uh, Friday. I, I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than the first one. I like the... Um, the chem I like that they focused more on um, Hope Van Dyne, the, the daughter of Michael Douglas' character. Yeah, I like that, actually. So they gave her... Right? She, you, you, she was on... Her first, point. her first big role was that show that you that I got you hooked, Lost. Yeah, for like ten minutes, I was like, I know this girl. You Where know is she her, from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I like that they, she was, she got more, she had more to do than in the first one. Uh -huh. Um, and uh, I like the, uh, without ruining it or spoiling it, the uh, last twenty minutes, the big action scene at the end with the whole car chase, that was uh, amazing. The whole yeah, car chase. Yeah, I <laughs> it was it was a unique thing, right? It was something nothing we've never seen before. Yeah, it was unique. Yeah. Still a yeah. Um, we saw that. We saw the purge, the first purge. The first purge. Not to be confused by the very first purge that came out in 2012 with Ethan Hawke. Like this is the prequel, the beginning of the actual purge. Makes you think. What 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 does it make you think? It, it makes you think. Like, what if that actually happened? Why would you, why would you think it would happen? Why not? What? Oh, I just pinched myself with the <laughs> with the pin. <laughs> why? Because of the status that we're currently involved in this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think it will happen. Maybe the. What if they show the president the movie, the first purge, and he's like, "We should do that." <laughs> Thank you. What if he's like, oh, that's a good movie. Thank you. Why don't we exactly. do something like that? 
That's my point. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't think I know he's I know he's fucking mental, but I don't think he's I don't think he's that mental for that. He's sick. He's sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> POTUS <laughs> That's what people call him Because they don't want to say his name They call him POTUS Oh, better <laughs> President of the United States <laughs> Oh, shit Yeah, so um, Next episode, Javier and I will go into de- Asshole of the United States <laughs> Don't fucking say that. People are going to be like, oh, he's still our president. Blah, blah, blah. How can you say that? I'm not the only one. <laughs> no, you're not the only one. It sucks, but this is what we are. We're in two more years of this shit. I don't really care anymore. I don't care. I just pay my taxes. I just want to be left the fuck alone. That's it. You want to go live in peace? <laughs> so next episode, Javier and I probably uh, will we'll, we'll discuss Ant-Man. I'm sure he saw it by now. Mm, and next episode, the one after that. Because the next episode, Javier's not involved. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, it's uh, Lewis. He was here on episode... Shit, what was it? 47? 48? One of the episodes called Bitcoin Lewis... Um, it was cryptocurrency but he comes back and he we do not talk actually we don't even discuss cryptocurrency in this one uh, it's completely other things you'll just have to stay tuned listen subscribe um share this with friends and family that will get a kick out of this and uh give us a review we've had a in the last podcast i read a a, a, a recent review uh, and I'm from Apple uh, Podcasts, iTunes, but there's other apps that you can that you listen to on podcasts and give reviews. I don't know if Google Podcasts allows to give allows people to give reviews. I don't have a Google phone, so I can't really tell. Um, but other podcast apps like Podbean, Castbox. Um, I recently discovered Castbox, very good cost. Uh, sorry, podcast app. You c- you're also able to listen to radio on it and audiobooks they have a free version and a paid version uh i'm using the free version you can still subscribe to podcasts um and yeah uh anchor so i'm gonna release these episodes on anchor anchor is another app you can actually create your own fucking podcast from anchor from your phone if you want a better quality microphone just buy a microphone attach it to your phone you can do a podcast there what do you think about that right yeah people can can do their own podcast right from their phone it's free anchor will then distribute it on on itunes apple podcast google spotify all the dozens and dozens of podcast uh, directories worldwide with anchor though here's the neat thing if you download anchor what you can actually do is search for bits for you listen to my podcast episodes and actually like What's, what's the term that they use? You can actually leave a voicemail message. So you can actually like make a phone call, but it's all through the app, so you're not actually dialing a phone number. Serious? Yeah, and they could talk and say, hey, I like this, whatever, or I hated this, or fucking Robert, you're an idiot. What the fuck are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, or, wow, your wife's voice is very beautiful and sexy. I wish I, I could see a picture of her to see how hot and badass she is. You know, you can say whatever the fuck you want on Anchor. You can say it to me. And I will interact with you, reply back to you as well. So, yeah, Anchor is, is like the social media where they, they want people to interact. And instead of typing, you're talking. You see your actual voice. So, you know, instead of I, I thought about doing like a phone thing, like getting an actual phone number and having people leave voicemail messages. I wouldn't answer the phone because, you know, I can't talk to everybody. But with, um, you know, listen to their voicemail message and then answer back on the, on air when I record. So with Anchor, I can do that. I can actually, you can actually leave me a voicemail message in any part of the, the podcast. And I could just hit reply and answer back to you right there. Yeah. And you'll hear it through the app. Or I'll even announce it here on the next episode. That's cool. Right? That's really cool. Really cool. So, yeah. People would actually have to speak. 
Yeah. I think no, I think we're I think we're going back to writing. You know how not writing, but I think we're 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 we're, we're going more towards voice and video. Less um less typing, less writing. You know, print media is pretty much gone. There's, you know, newspapers are pretty much out. You know, they have websites, but websites where you have to, you know, before when the internet started 20, 25 years ago, Everything was, you know, text, text based, right? There was no YouTube, nothing. Well, now with YouTube, now Instagram has Instagram TV. You, have you heard of Instagram TV? Yeah. What is it? You can do TV on Instagram. Right. Like videos. 15, to 15 seconds up to 10 minutes, I think is the max that they allow. So you're, you're shooting video from your phone and it's, it's going on Instagram. They're, they're doing this to compete with YouTube. Um, a lot of you know if you watch YouTube like recorded stuff from your phone YouTube since it's all in widescreen YouTube has that you know puts the, the left and the right side all with the black bars or grayed out bars so it looks kind of weird but with Instagram TV it, it fills up the screen just like your phone because your phone is a different ratio so everything's leaning more towards video and audio I think that's the evolution no more like typing on Twitter and typing on t on Facebook. Even Facebook has um, their own Facebook video, which isn't doing so well. They're trying to compete with Instagram, but Instagram is owned by Facebook, so it's kind of like they're kind of like fucking themselves over, but not really because they're probably like they don't care because they own Instagram. But that's the wave of the future. So if you hear that flapping, it's not a rope. It's um. My wife is making pillows to sell on, on her website. Her website was pretty much created, but it's not live yet, right? It's not live? It's not live. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's there. You can go on. But it's just there's basic. No it, there's no product. It just says here. The product is there, but it's hidden. Right, right. So. Until you make enough uh, inventory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good to know. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. I talk too much. Uh, peace in the Middle East. <laughs> Do they still say that? Remember in school we used to say that? <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Besitos. Damn. It sounded like you were battling something when you were picking up the microphone. I was battling your face. Shit. My bad. I was, uh, when you had texted me, I had just gotten out of the, the shower. I was washing my asshole. Now it's nice and clean. You sure? It's pretty dirty. No, nice and clean, ready for you. So it's all yours. Uh, I think you're mistaking me for your brother. <laughs> no. Uh, there's no incest here. It's It's yours. You don't have to be shy about it or ashamed. Everybody knows. The secret is out. Secret about you and your brother? <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> Word. How, uh, how was your weekend? Good. You know. Uh, watch TV. And um, just normal day stuff like groceries and stuff like that. Oh, fun stuff. What you watch on TV? <clears throat> TV sucks, by the way. Hmm? I, don't, I don't know what you're watching on TV when it sucks. Um, yeah, most of the stuff is not. None of it was like live. Uh, one of it was one of it was DVR. The other one was uh, Netflix. And uh, yeah, so basically, on Netflix, I was watching Glow and Wild Wild Country. Oh. And then at, and yeah. What else? What else? And then a DV and then DVR. I was watching uh, Westworld. Ah, I I haven't watched uh, much of the seasons of Westworld. I'm waiting for it to to be done so I can binge it. Is it already done, or is it still? Do you still need more for the season? 
I'm not sure because I'm like season one. Oh <laughs> shit! You're one. season one. I thought you were season two. <laughs> okay. No, no. Like, uh, okay. I haven't watched any of it. And you I just got into all it. All recorded. Got it. No, I, I recorded it since I started. It's just I never even really watched it. So and I'm like, you know what? Let me watch this. Okay. How do you like it so far? Without, we're not gonna go too much into it. But how do you like it so far? Yeah, it's good. Uh, I was wasn't sure if I like it or not. But yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Yeah, it's. it's I'm, a, I'm waiting for more to happen, but you know. It's a well-written show with a lot of great actors that I would have never thought would would be a part of a TV show, but I guess they did yeah, it. Yes, so Anthony Hopkins, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, Ed Harris <laughs> and a bunch of other people. Uh, it's from the team that made the Dark Knight trilogy with uh, Christian Bale, so Nolan's team, Christopher Nolan's team. His brother is one of the producers and writers. They're the ones involved in uh, Westworld. So, you know, mm. good talent behind the behind the scenes um you mentioned glow i haven't started season two i i, I enjoyed season one my my wife thought it was going to be um well we, we mentioned in a podcast before um my my, well, my wife had mentioned that she i said oh, you want to watch glow this season this is back in season one. Oh, what is it i'm like oh it's women wrestling that league that happened in the 80s she's like i didn't know about that she you know she was oblivious to, to that league like, yeah, it didn't last long, but, it, you know, a very popular cult following. You know, they, they do conventions and stuff like that. So she started watching and she was immediately hooked because of the references to the 80s. That's when she grew up. You know, the music, the, the hairstyle, the fashion. So and and, and then she, she and she she became attached to it for the writing, the acting, the dark humor involved in the show. So it's not a show about wrestling, even though wrestling isn't involved. Because wrestling is probably like 20, 30 percent of what you actually see on screen. Um. So, but it, other than that, it's very well, like I said, you know, well written, acted, some funny parts. So. It's about the people, yeah. Right, right. It's about the characters and the, you know the yeah the characters on screen. So I enjoyed it. So, what you saw all of season two, or you're you're still trying to finish it? I've only seen the first two episodes. So without spoiling, how, what do you think so far? How, how how's the the beginning of the season? Yeah, just tackling. Oh, we have to freaking do a show now. So uh, you know, that was the end of season one. They they got the so deal. Does it take place deal. right after one, or like a few weeks or months later? Um, I guess pretty much after, because then they're like, okay, let's start to doing the TV. So oh, they start, that's, that's right. So they start doing it. That's right. Okay, well, that's good. Um, now Wild Wild Country, that one. Mm-hmm. I I had been hearing about it online. Um, I'm I'm guessing uh, somebody that listens to the podcast um, mentioned it as well. Uh, shout out to Lindsay, uh, but I also heard it from other people, other podcasts. Um, I'm like, oh fuck, let me let me try it out, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, my wife likes documentaries as well. That's the only reason I married her because she likes documentaries. By the way, just wanted, just wanted to get point that out. Um, and uh, yeah, like it's it's fucking amazing, man. The Duplass brothers. I'm a big fan of theirs, especially. I think Mark. Is what, have, a, what have they done? So Mark is an. Uh, he's also an actor. He's been in the show from FX, The League. He was in the, the movie Safety Not Guaranteed. Um, his other brother, who's. Um, they're the most like independent uh, producers and directors and writers, but they also venture into acting. Um, his brother, uh, who I think is the younger one, is on that show uh, Transparent on Amazon about the the father who comes out and and says he's gay or dresses like a like a woman, kind of like that you know the whole Kardashian father. Transsexual. Right, right. There you go. Um, so his brother's in that show, I believe. And uh, but other than that, like the show, I, I when I knew they were involved, I'm like, oh shit, this is like fucking good talent behind the scenes here. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, the, the show ha- got me hooked, man, from the first episode. Just and I love that 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 it wasn't like a two hour documentary, like a like a movie. They decided to to go further and do six hours or six episodes. And I and I and I feel that that made it more. It allowed more. Um, it allowed them to tell both sides because I don't know if you feel this way, but I felt that you 
that they gave they put they shine the light on the 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 the, the, the religion or the cult as you people might want to call it as well as the the government going after the cult and then it's up to the viewer to decide who's in the right and who's in the wrong or are they both in the right and the wrong equally that's the that's what i got out of it you know it's not like some documentaries like for example michael moore's documentaries he he'll do a documentary he's like oh this is bad 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 and he touches a little bit on the good but he by the end of the movie you're like oh this is why it's bad it's, it's just his you know obviously his point of view yeah, I mean, uh, I guess he does try. I, I don't know. It's hard to say because to me they're just both crazy. So <laughs> didn't matter. Yeah. You're talking is about. It, the, is this, you're talking it's about, just too. Mm-hmm. It's just two crazy religions after each other. I thought it is. In Wild Wild Country, of course. Uh, yeah. Like you saw when when and we can go into spoilers. So the spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, we can go. Into, we can go into details because you and I already saw it. So when when you see the that he tells the, uh, Sheila to go to uh, you know find a place where we can live, we can you know take our commune because he was being uh, attacked or you know he was going to go to in, to jail or whatever be prosecuted in India. She goes and she goes to Oregon, right? And when she gets there, she finds this big piece of land. Oh shit, very cheap. You know, this is like 1981, 1980. Um, she gets she buys the land. He says, okay, buy it. And and then you could see like the reporters, the cameramen, like, oh, what do you think about these people moving in? Well, and then one of them says, oh, I don't know, they look weird. Not flat out being racist, but at the same time, you're like, yeah, they look different, so they're automatically weird, <laughs> you know. And you're already against them. You don't even know them. They haven't even talked. They haven't even said hi. So clearly, I could tell these white people just don't like the, don't like the, don't like the foreigners going and moving into their piece of land that's what mm-hmm. that's what i took out of it did you what, what do you think uh there's just a clash of two religions uh you know christianity and, wait, wait uh, you didn't think there was also a clash of uh race no not so much uh race is barely in it involved I would it's say. subtle, but what I was saying is subtle. That's what I meant to say. It's not flat out. Oh, I hate them because uh, no, Indian. I was saying no because most of those people were all white, so I, mm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with that. A lot of them, but a lot of them when when they first started moving in, it wasn't it wasn't majority white, if you remember. Uh, I mean, that religion was like majority white. There was barely any Indians ever. Mm. No, because you never see them. He, when he moved, even when they're in India and they're showing the the crowd from India, most of them are still white. So it's like. Right, no, this is, uh, but religion, like you were saying, religion mixes it's with a religion mixes, war. It's a mixes religion race war. as well. That's racial undertones in religion. Why? I, I totally disagree with the race thing. I, I could maybe see with the Bogwin guy, right? Because he's the he's the the head guru, and he what is he? You know, he's from a different ethnicity. So they're uh, being they never they never like made fun of him for his race. And like, oh, he's a carpet not, right. It's not That's about it's not about making fun. They just didn't like him because he's different. And they subtly no, they said like, it. They didn't like him because they had open sex. That's why they didn't like him. Not only that, also because of his, you know, beliefs, and he was from another country. And towards the towards the middle episode, like episode three or four, they were like, <laughs> Look, "Oh, I, I want, I want I the, totally they should go, they the should go, thing. they should go back to their country. They should go back where they came from." Like, okay, that's not not saying that that's kind of racist, but because you know they came there legally, they had visas, and these people are saying they should go back to their country. That's like what's going on now. Oh, these Mexicans should go back to their country. You don't see it. That's fine. You're blind to it. I'm. I wasn't blind to it. Neither was my wife. That's all. We're just pointing it out. You know, it just it happened 35 years ago. It's no big deal. I'm just saying they were after him because of the whole religion thing. Right from the very beginning, they didn't like an outsider from another country coming to their country. But, but it's a hypocrisy because, like, okay, they came and to America to their practice their religion. Their religion. Right. Where America has freedom of religion, but then it's a, no, 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 it, no, they're, they're, they're hip, hypocritical I, because I know it gets more complicated. But hold on, hold on. They get hypocritical. No, the, 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 but then they're because their religion's weird, obviously. Uh, I understand you know, it. Even it's, open sex and all. This. Right. They went over the crazy the sex thing a lot. I don't know what else was wrong with it. They didn't seem to go. They didn't go into detail about that too much. But they, uh, they weren't committing any crimes, at least not in the beginning. They kind of. They kind of. To me, it was kind of subtle that they said there was things going on, but we're not going to talk about it. 
Like there was, they had their own problems, and we don't know what it was. Like they showed you that movie where the guy was hitting the girl and, and having sex. And right. Stuff. The the German, I think, it was a German document documentary filmmaker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they showed that, but nothing really beyond that. You could so you could tell there was other problems, but they didn't. Like I said, they didn't go into detail. I think the big issue here was religion. Like I said, they, they came to America to practice their religion, and these people already had a problem with it. Right, they were and being discriminated were against their religion and being different. Exactly. Right, right. That's a form. So, okay, it, let, let's let me change the word. Maybe not race. Maybe not so much race, but very discriminative. And discrimination and race are very like you know, almost borderline the same. Almost go down the same path. The reason I say it was not racial at all because they never. But would you said? But it was discriminative. About, about they never said anything bad about towards that. Like let's say it was a black person. They didn't call him the N-word or anything like that. If they call him the Edward, No, stuff, no. They didn't call oh, him any racial slurs about being Indian or from India. No, that's fine. That's true. But I, what I'm saying is the, there was subtle hints that they, they just, you know, well, you know, get out of here. Go back to your country. And that was clearly said. But anyway. We agree that they were both being discriminative because of where they came from and their religion. It's still discrimination. That's not where they came from, but their religion specifically. Anyways, <laughs> okay, you're you're still stuck on that, but that's fine. That's you're you're entitled to your opinion. Yeah, especially when my opinion is right. No, it's not right because <laughs> because I've talked to people and they don't agree with what you're saying. But go ahead, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, it was um, it was just crazy, dude. Like, like uh, yeah. I, so so it's just a clash of two religions. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, Christian Christianity runs the country. And, uh, right, but they're being hypocrites because freedom of religion, and they only want Christianity to be the only religion. That's so stupid. I just want to let you know this. Uh, I, 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 I do not believe or go with what they these people believe in, or anything like that. And, but uh, and they obviously had their own problems. You mean the um, the Rosh the Rashni Rashni people? Yeah, they had their own problems and all that stuff. Right, I'm not even defending them whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But then you, you go to the Mormons. They they, they have Utah. Right. Like, like, so what's the difference there? Because exactly. they believe in Jesus? Is exactly. that okay? Exactly, because it's okay because they believe in Jesus. Because Jesus talked to jo- Joseph, what is it, Joseph Smith? A 14-year-old yeah. boy that made up some fucking story 140 years ago when he was in the forest getting high off of some fucking mushrooms. Come on, man. That's some bullshit. Right? That's I mean, there's more, t- there's more to it. I know we're, there we're is. It's involved. It. Obviously... Yeah. They were getting all this hate because of their religion, and but then the violence started. And then when the violence started, you can't support them no more. You can't like be, be behind them. Well, no. And plus, I don't know exactly what but other beliefs. And I but be- I think I was kind of I was kind of going for them at first, and then when this violence started, I'm like, well, uh, the no. violence of what? What do you what? You got to be detailed. Like them starting to carry heavy machinery and uh, heavy heavy weaponry. Uh, them poisoning the city, stuff like that. But like but that. but but wait a second. The assassination attempt. That that didn't That's... start off right in the first year. That started off a couple, uh, like a, like year two or three. Do you do you do you remember why that started? What was the cause because of that? They, because because of the, they lost the, because they had an election thing, and then they went crazy. The start of that was because they they felt threat and they felt that the people from the town were coming to get them, so they felt they needed but to. A, they they were theme. getting that threat. It's all relates to Sheila, right? Right. Uh, it's a theme. Every time they do something to her, she re- overreacts tenfold. So oh, they, oh. she got starting some threats. Oh, here's some machine guns, and we're gonna have tons of it. Right, but she did get threats. They did get threats. That's yeah, that's but the key. she overreacted with so, the, the weaponry. Uh, that's where that's where I go back to the the documentary tried to show you both sides that they got pushed. So yeah, she overreacted. She she came back stronger and no, no, harsher. No, just, you just said, oh, she just overreacted. No, she did it like tenfold every single time. Whatever, tenfold. Like, she, I'm going to use your like, words so you can so we can move on. What I'm saying is, from my point of view and my wife's, is that they got pushed. And she did it, like you said, tenfold, thirtyfold, whatever. If it wasn't for her, the people here in Oregon or, the, or, the, or, the, or America pushing them, and maybe leaving them do, let, let them be in peace and, and do whatever the fuck they want, as long as they're not hurting or or, or, ki- or killing people, which they weren't at the beginning. They wanted to do the assassination at, at, attempt to that guy because they were they were they felt you know like I said felt threatened. Overall, it's just like push comes to shove type of scenario. 
there's a limit, and, and they went beyond. The I agree. No, I agree that they broke laws. Let me put it this laws. way: they they were no better. Yeah, but there's religions now. Now, even in this country, Christianity and and Catholicism, that break laws all the time, but then they push it under the table. Hush, hush. Oh no, because we 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 uh we support the politicians and this and that. And that's what to me, you know, going when it boils down to it. Uh, I've I said it here many times. Religion is religion is bullshit. That's just, just bottom line. That's why I, I don't practice it. Never have. I, I when I reach the <laughs> there, there goes your fucking dog. Oh gosh. The, put the dog in the garbage or something. Huh? Put the fucking dog in the garbage. I put, put you in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. But um, yeah, that's why I think that's why you know, religion is bullshit. That's all. <laughs> I mean, we can both agree on that. Uh, it's just, like I said, it it they they stoop down to a level they shouldn't have. They oh, I agree. I'm not defending them, but the guy was nutty too. He had like twenty. What is it? Ninety. At one point, some guy says he had ninety Rolls Royces. Royce, Royce. No, it was like twenty. I know it was twenty. He exaggerated, and he had no, oh, but he had like like fifty Rolex watches. I'm like, this yeah, but it, I know they they said it. He's not a. <laughs> he, he was okay with the, you know, t- material goods. And he stuff he like didn't. That. He wasn't like that's the thing. Like a lot of people, uh, his followers, I guess he preached or praised like, oh, we don't need materialistic things, or you guys shouldn't. Give it but to that, me, that back, and, back and then they gave it to him. When he went to America, <laughs> uh-huh. when he went to America, he never talked till till Sheila left. Which to me that was crazy in itself. You you follow this guy, you praise him like a god or some kind of prophet, right? And then you know someone high, and then he the fucking dude does nothing. <laughs> yeah. he just walks. Around. I made fun of that the other day. I was walking around like him. Yeah, and Diana and I were make, walking around just like him with our hands like this, like and I, I'll give me money. <laughs> And then he will walk around with a fucking diamond encrusted watch, and you will see a sparkle. <laughs> oh shit! You know that? Well, the documentary reveals that um, people still, still, you know, practice all yeah. over the world. They still practice that. But his his um, look his his basis on on his little religion or what he wanted to start. The root of it has been around in this world for thousands of years. He just took it to a different level. Wait, what, what was around a thousand years? Religion? His, the basis, the root of his religion, the whole, you know, being loving, being peaceful, um, you know, being it wasn't free. Like that. He, they, they even said meditating. It. You, don't, you don't turn, you don't turn the other cheek. <laughs> he said shit like that. Oh, of course. That's what I'm saying. He. I did, Javier, you don't you don't understand what I'm saying. I said that the root of it is based on current religions that have been are now, like Buddhism and Hindu, you know Hinduism. That's where his the root of his little cult comes from. But he took it to an extreme. He added, he changed things. Do you understand what I'm saying now? It's not. I'm not saying that it's that it's like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's now we understand each other. But so he just took it to a whole nother level. Is what I was saying. And, you know, with the whole, like, oh, you know, I need, like, what is it? Two, he had two jets, uh, a police force, um, a fucking lake. <laughs> it's just fucking crazy. And, and it's funny because I don't remember, I don't remember seeing none of that. Do you remember seeing that as you were growing up in the 80s? Dude, it was, like, early, early 80s. to mid 80s, so yeah. you were, like, like five, you know. four, three. <laughs> yeah, really young. So. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. At all. So yeah, it, it's. Uh, but it's good. I recommend people to watch it. I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, it's actually you know what this also reminded me of. What? Uh, I don't like bringing up his name. So Sheila, you know. You don't like she, bringing she, up she, Osho's she, name. Huh? Osho? No, not him. Uh, someone else crazy though. So, someone that's she crazy. she uh, okay. how did she spread the word of her religion and everything? The media media ate her up because she went crazy on her words. She was a crazy lady and she said crazy things, provoked people. 
Okay. You're talking about Shiva. Does that remind Yeah. Does that remind you something? <clears throat> it's like nothing has changed in, in what? Uh, in society? Like in, 20, like in 30 years. Uh -huh. Media is still false for the same tricks. You mean about the 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 POTUS? You're talking about POTUS? I don't know who the fuck is POTUS. But, but uh, President of the United States. Yeah, I don't say his name. So <laughs> why the dog starts that, barking that, when you that, say the his idea name? Of, <laughs> the idea of oh, this crazy person is talking. It's gonna it's gonna cause people to talk and ratings. So let's televise them, and then they get bigger and bigger. Oh, of course. You made a monster back then, and you made a monster now. It's oh, of like, course. If you if you put just, you that, do, shit is, that kind of shit has to stop. If you do a split screen of what Sheila did, part of that cult, um, and what this guy did. When he was running for, you know, his campaign two years ago, they're he's very much, very much identical. He's there, he's talking and saying rid ridiculous things, and she's doing the same thing. And people are like, "Oh my god, we gotta watch, we gotta tune in because we gotta see what other ridiculous things she says next week." And then for him, it was the same thing. What's he gonna say next week or next tomorrow? So you're you're right that, that they're very similar, but that's how it is throughout history. Um, you know, whether somebody of of power will say ridiculous things uh, to seem, you know, strong. And he will, he will, they will bully the weak. And she was doing that. Sheila was bullying the the government, the politicians in the town that, want, that wanted her out. She kept making threats. Oh, but they threaten me. I'm going to threaten them. You know, that's, that's, that's what she did. She was, she was, she was being a bully. <laughs> so. And some people see that as a, don't, they don't see that as bullying. Some people are blind to that and see that as, uh, oh shit, this is like a powerful person. We got to follow them, and then and then they gain followers. You know. I don't, I don't compare to this. Uh, like nowadays, it's really taboo uh, more like than before. Uh huh. Like you don't really talk about like a serial killer or the mass murderer right. too much. Right. Because then you glorify him, and then other people are gonna look at that and like, oh, this person's getting all this kind of attention. I should do the same thing to get that kind of attention. Yeah, but that hasn't stopped. They still do that whenever there's a mass shooting. They don't go crazy on it like they used to, but they still do it a little bit here and there. Mm, but that kind of stuff has died down some, hasn't died off. Well, but it should die off. I'm right? gonna give you an example. I'm gonna give you an example. Very recent, and and you probably remember this. I was on the cruise a month ago when it happened. It was on the Friday, two a couple of days before the my cruise was. My cruise was ending. There was a shootout in Texas. Was it Texas? Yeah, Texas in high school, right? That yeah. only happened that morning because what happened that Friday night or Saturday the next day? Actually, the next day. It was the fucking royal wedding with the prince. So the media is like, oh, fuck the shooting. We're not going to talk about that anymore. We got the fucking royal wedding to talk about. So it just so happened that something like that happened, right, co coincided with something, and they completely stopped the one. But if the royal wedding wasn't around or, or, or was delayed or whatever... They probably still would have been talking about the shooting in Texas, like they did with the one in Florida and and, and you know all the other ones before that. That's yeah, something. That's something but, I noticed recently. That just happened like a month ago. Yeah, because the news is about the ratings and the royal wedding was big numbers. I guess you know people. Oh my god, princess! Oh my god, princess! You know, that's that fucking retarded shit. But whatever. <laughs> but uh, like my, my point though was the whole. This is crazy, and mm. you're you're giving this crazy person, a, you know, a, a, a platform to talk like this. Right. So it's it's this is bad. It gives it inspires others. It, it right, but that's how it, people from religions from thousands of years have done that. Whenever they used to preach during the Crusades, you know, just a few hundred years ago. They would get up in a big pedestal and they're like, people, God says this. We got to do this. We got to do this. And God says this guy's our enemy. We got to fight them. Boom. They fucking start a war. You know, religion, like, like it's just people follow that. They see it as strength. And it's just probably in your DNA or, or in humans DNA. So it's just something that certain people connect to it. And certain people are like, yeah, this is bullshit. You know, you and I are woke. So we don't we don't follow that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Are you woke? Woke. You know, it, it, there's a wrestler and he's woken. He's woken. <laughs> it's, it's, something, it's something different. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, believe in religion or anything. And uh, like, let's say someone wants to 
supposed to believe in something greater, right? Right. Uh, fine, but then when it come when now when it starts getting organized and all this kind of crap, mm-hmm. then it's just crap. Uh, you just you're just following someone because it, it seems to be a tendency of people. They want someone to follow, right. and it's like you don't have to follow someone. Just go with your own your own thoughts, what you come up with on your own. Don't follow someone. Don't read. Uh, don't read some book just to be to think a certain way. Uh, come up with the things that, your own. That, just that, get the facts and 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 think your own. But way. you know that there's different personalities and you know in, in humanity. So with those personalities, there's a lot of them that are not. They don't. They don't. They don't see the need to uh, reach out or, or or follow their own thoughts. They like to follow. There's like you know there's the followers. There's leaders. There's people that do what they want or don't. You know. And, and and with that, they just get attached. Certain people get attached to that whole, um, man, this person, maybe he's on to something. Let me follow him and see what happens. Uh, unbeknownst to them, late, later on, once they're, once they're in, or once they've been brainwashed, um, they're like, oh, yeah, we need, we need money. And <laughs> there's always money. Money's always involved. Mm-hmm. This is what I find with with most religions. I, I I going back to that thing. Um, remember that lady, the British lady in the documentary, uh, the one that her son had cancer, like a brain tumor. Mm-hmm. She mentioned, I think, in the last episode or the episode before last, she says, "You know, I was in a cloud for like years, and one day I woke up and I was, I just didn't want it anymore. I realized it. It just it was nonsense." That right there, I was like, okay. I t- I turned to my wife and I go, oh, she she's a, she's awakened. She woke up to, from from the spell that that she was on that she was in from you know the the guru. And some people are in that, in that spell for life. They can't get out of it. They just like you know society wants people are want to be part of a group or something. Like you, you want to be part of my group and you know because I'm badass. But I tell you, you know you can't be part of you can't be like me because it's only one of me. Uh, no, but <laughs> cute. <laughs> mm, anything else you want to add to that? I I, I think uh, just to add on, the yeah, documentary was interesting, interesting because of the the religion stuff and the fact this even happened mm-hmm. and lessons learned, which wasn't learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but just interesting to see that kind of stuff. How did you stumble upon it? Did you hear from somebody or you were just, how you know, a friend or a coworker? How did you hear about it? Oh, I, I just wanted to watch something crime related. Uh, I, I like to watch these crime dramas or not dramas, but these documentaries, documentaries and stuff. And you yeah. stu- so you stumbled upon it or just browsing? No, I was actually reading, reading up on what's what's a good show to watch for that. Kind of oh, stuff. okay. So you okay? So you were you saw it as a recommendation somewhere? Okay, that's, yeah. that's cool. That's pretty much how I stumbled upon so, it. Somebody recommended it. So, so I, I so I gave it a little bit of a try, and then oh, okay. And this you got hooked. Did your wife watch it or just you? No, we, we both did. What, what, what did she say about it? Yeah, it's kind of the same idea. Same idea. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any any games that you've been playing recently? Yeah, uh, Fortnite. I've been playing that. Oh, you got on Fortnite. That's right. You actually mentioned it to me a few weeks ago. I completely forgot about it. You know, my sister plays it. Oh, shit. Your sister plays Fortnite. Yeah. Nice. Is she any good? Yeah, she's, she's good. Okay. Um, okay. Like, awesome. But, you know, she. I'm just surprised because she never really plays video games. Right. And she's playing it. She's playing it. Yeah. I wonder if my wife so, would get into it. My wife, it's fun. My my wife likes uh, mobile games. She's been playing this fucking game for like past few weeks on her phone. Drains her batteries all the time. Then uh, you know I can't never get in touch with her. But uh, <laughs> my brother, my brother um, uh, Fernando, he's really into Fortnite. Him and his best friend, they're actually starting. Um, they've been streaming on Twitch, and they're starting a little. I guess what's the word? A group or a cha- or a Twitch channel dedicated mm-hmm. to well right now it's being dedicated to fortnite so mm-hmm. if you guys look fine i, I think uh, i'm going to see the name the name of his group uh, on or on twitch is ready up bra bra as in b-r-u-h so mm-hmm. check it out try it out i've been playing sniper elite 4 on the playstation 
killing some Nazis in Italy, sniping them it's like, hundreds of yards away. Uh, I'm a badass sniper in that game. Yeah. <laughs> I own those Nazis, motherfuckers. Right. But yeah, uh, uh, I don't know. I've been playing Mario Tennis. Ah! Oh, piece of shit game. I'm just, Go ahead. No, it's good. Um, do you play it online or do you play with... Yeah, you did mention it last time. Do you play it online? Yeah. Mm. And I, you, I noticed if you play in the mornings, it's you get a better pool of people to play against. Not these elite players, but you know, kind of average. Someone who's beating the story, maybe, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, so do you get spanked in that game? People spank you? No, I, I had a really good match uh, last time. It was really good. Mm. Back Unt- and forth. Until you got we spanked. We had a tiebreaker. We had a tiebreaker. Apparently. And you lost. Yeah, yeah, I lost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I like it that you're honest. You could have said, nobody's, nobody here would have known if you had said, yeah, I won. But I admire that. You're honest. I mean, I don't care if I win or lose. It's, I'm just having fun. You're having fun. I'm not playing do you have any? Do you have a go-to character, or characters? I like Bowser Jr. and uh, Rosalina. So every character has their own uh, pros and cons. What does Bowser Jr. bring to attract you? He's very defensive, so he could return a lot of different. He has a long range, so he could kind of return. Well, so, so, yeah, he has mm-hmm. good uh, movement on. The, I say movement, but on the court. Yeah, I said movement. He, he can just about return most hits as long as you're close enough to it. Okay. Um, and then uh, Rosalina, her trick shot. She's really good at tricking, at doing trick, trick shots. Trick shots. So, hmm. yeah. Do you play with anybody else uh, locally on your TV or do, or mostly online? Uh, I play with my girlfriend once, but your uh, wife, it's not like your wife. wife, your wife. But uh, <laughs> I just she's it's not her. It's not, not an easy her, game. It's not her cup of tea. Just, yeah, it's just uh, too complicated. Really, it's just tennis. How can that be complicated? Yeah, I know. I know what you. I know what people are thinking, and and when they see the game, and like, oh, it's it's, it's just tennis, but it's actually really complicated. I it's, mean, I, I played. Past... I had to start watching. I had to start watching YouTube videos to really get because Nintendo doesn't t- doesn't teach you enough. Because a lot of the other mechanics are of the game are are kind of stuff that you would more for hardcore fans, I would say, of, of something like where you really want to learn about. How to play and how to get really good. That's how this game is. So it's not it's not some super simplified game. There is a mode where you can play a very simple mode where it's just like motion controls. Yeah. There is that is that isn't there, but it's not turned on by default. And you don't you have to actually go turn it on. And, and there's only you can only you just no you don't play adventure mode like that way. Adventure mode is with the standard you know way. Oh, that's right. I, uh, you mentioned there was like a a story mode, or adventure mode. Yeah. So it's different from past Mario tennis games because I played. Uh, I think the last one I played was on the Wii. Was it the Wii? Yeah, I think it was the Wii. It was not the Wii U because I, I did not own a Wii U. Mm-hmm. Did they even release one on the Wii U? Um, I don't even know. I don't recall. I don't think so. Or or if they did, they would have done like a oh here's the remake of the Wii U version. And they did not do that, so I, I don't think they did. I think this is this is us from the ground up. Um, anything else that you've been playing around, or just that? I still been playing uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Um, oh, that's right. MMO. Carlindo. Um. Yeah, I was playing. Uh, I need to finish it. I, I might try to finish it uh, this week. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Hmm. I'm like towards the end. I know it because of the story. But uh, yeah. Got it. Have you seen? Uh, did you see Jurassic Jurassic World, Fallen no. Kingdom? I gotta say one more one, one more thing about uh, gaming. Uh, I, I'm kind of interested into it. Uh, I think it's like 15 or 20 bucks on the eShop. What is it? It came out last year and like you know PC and stuff. It's a game called Hollow Knight. It's making some headway because it's selling really well on the Switch. It's basically a, like a Metroid type of game. Metroidvania. Mania? No. No, the, the genre Metroidvania. It's like Metroid and Castlevania. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I think you said Metroidmania. I'm like, huh? No, Metroidvania. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is that. Hollow Knight. I, I, really I, I have heard of Hollow Knight. 
So you recommend yeah, it? I, yeah, I do actually. Uh, no, not that I, I do. I, I've seen videos. I haven't played it. <laughs> oh, you haven't tried it yet. Okay. I want to. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, when you do, let us know. Let us know, sir. I don't know when I'll get to it, to be honest. Uh, yeah. So exactly. I need to finish Horizon Zero Dawn and then... Um, I don't know. I, maybe I will. Incredibles, we'll Incredibles two. Yeah. Did you see it? That I did see. Yeah. What did you think of it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I didn't know what they're gonna do with the second one, mm-hmm. and um, the premise was it was a good idea. Mm-hmm. And uh, did they wait too long? Obviously not. They made a ton of money. They made a shit ton. And dude, my expectations for the second one. Wasn't that great? I mean, Pixar, uh, I, I don't like their sequels. I mean, not all their sequels. The, so the Toy Story sequels are the rare exception. But their car sequels, I, they were just, to me, it felt like a cash cash grab. Um, so I was like, oh. Cars, maybe... cars in general is. Right. But, cool. but uh, I was like, okay, they're not really known for the sequel. Monsters, when they did the Monsters Egg sequel called Monsters University, I didn't like it so much. So I was like, okay, maybe it won't be so. Well, my expectations were low. But dude. By the end of the movie, I was like, "Holy fuck!" This literally, I I, I told people this is my favorite superhero movie I've seen in a long fucking time. And yes, I'm calling it better. I'm saying it's better than Avengers: Infinity War. That's how. I mean, it, everything just it's a, it's a fucking comic book come to life. Pixar Pixar did it with the first Incredibles, and they did it again with yeah. the second one. You know. So, so why why didn't you like it? I like the I like the humor, obviously. I like that uh, that the dad now has to, um, you know, he he has this. Uh, he wants to be like, you know, involved in everything and fight crime, but he had to take the back seat and stay home and be Mister Mom. <laughs> Reference to Michael Keaton's classic comedy from the eighties, Mister Mom. Mm. Um, I like that they, um, I don't know, I, that in the first one they hinted at Jack Jack, and I like that Jack Jack was pretty much front and center here as well. So they added, uh, you know, a new dynamic. Uh, I like that the um, the villain was also interesting. I thought it was gonna be the 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 dude. He was gonna be the villain, like, but then I was like, then they they kind of said, you know, they kind of hinted that it was the sister. And I'm, I at one point I'm like, I think it's the, the sister's the villain. So that far that that that's the only thing that I sort of predicted. Um, just the characters were fun, you know, just seeing them back at, at on screen. I love the first Incredibles. The second one was just. More, more of that plus, you know, a little new twist here and there. So, and it's just overall fun, man. It's just like the the, the action sequences as well, it were are fucking amazing. Like, if only uh, a Marvel or some studio would do action sequences like that, you know, like you're, it's they're nail biting, they're well, they're well edited, well shot, you know, just fucking great fucking superhero movie, man. Yeah, it's funny, uh, you know, Marvel. If you read the comic books. Mm-hmm. And stuff. It's it's not known as a like if you read a Dragon Ball Z comic or you know manga, uh-huh. it, there's a lot of action going on and stuff, right? They're also talking, obviously, but uh, in Marvel comics, it's like almost entirely all talking. Right. There's, there's barely any action going on in the comics. Mm-hmm. Probably because it doesn't, doesn't just doesn't translate well, but uh, for them at least, I don't know. But the movies they obviously have action. It's just funny in the comics they don't really do that. So, mm-hmm. what did you like about Incredibles two? Uh, I thought overall it was a fun movie. Did they progress much with like Jack Jack? I guess some. Um, I guess baby steps with that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Get it, baby steps. Yeah, exactly. Ha ha ha! Funny. Drum roll. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, the villain, uh, I liked. I think epic, though. Just no, uh, kind of personal. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know how to put it. It was just fun. and Exactly. A fun movie. Yeah, it doesn't make you think or anything. It's not a thinking movie. No, it's a superhero movie. It's just to have fun. <laughs> you know, it's kind of weird. Uh I don't like the voices for Mr. Fantastic and uh, <laughs> Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Incredible and uh, Elastic Girl. You don't like their voices, but it's the same voice from the first movie. 
You know, it was so long since I watched it, I forgot. Oh. And then I heard it, and like, I no, rewatched I like, it like two like weeks ago because my wife had never seen it, and she enjoyed the first movie. She enjoyed the second one even more. She she said that the second one was better than the first. In my opinion, the first one's still the best, but this one is is uh, very close. I have to watch it again to you know maybe change. Maybe my opinion might change, but the second one was very well done. And it's made a lot of money, or it is still making money because it's only been out for like three weeks. So, still making that money, sir. Um, the let's wrap this up. So, um, are you gonna watch anything that you're gonna be doing in the upcoming week? Are you gonna be watching something? Just celebrating your oh, by the way, happy birthday, sir! Oh, happy early birthday! Yeah, early birthday. Yeah, yeah your birthday's Soon. on the fourth of July. Hi. What? Do you, any plans? Um, uh, just you know, cook, cook dinner, kind of thing. Kind of then, um, barbecue, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, there'll be barbecue a <laughs> lot. <laughs> okay. Send me some, send me a piece of cake. Uh, I think it's a come for that. Just FedEx it to me. You know, I sent a package to my sister. They fucking lost it. Who, FedEx? No, USPS. Oh, because UPS fucked up a package that um, my wife's daughter sent her. And they, they got it returned because we were on the cruise. And when she got the, when the package was returned to her to her daughter, it was missing a bunch of shit and a bunch of stuff inside was broken. So, so they actually opened see, the thing and, and stole whatever was inside there. See, I bought a bunch of stuff from Greece and sent it to her. So even if I try to send it to her again, it won't matter because that was the only thing I had. Yeah, that's that's like, fucked. Yeah. Did, so you, did you put insurance on it? Did you do an insurance claim? I always put insurance, by the way, when I ship stuff. I did priority mail. It has insurance claims on it oh. automatically, but I don't think I don't know if it even has a receipt for that shit. No, if it's priority, it's automatic insurance. You just have to call the number and report it, and that's it. Yeah, I haven't done it yet, but I'm, I'm going to probably do something about yeah, it. Yeah, and, t- and t- tell them to go fuck themselves. That too. <laughs> ah, Galindo, Galindo. Um, I did actually did the. Um, I don't remember I mentioned it last time, but I did the AMC um, kind of like a movie pass thing. They have it's called AMC A List. So I signed up last week on Tuesday when it, when it was released. Uh, my wife signed up as well, and I'm enjoying it so far. I've seen uh, two movies last week, two or three. Um. The way it works, I think uh, it's twenty bucks, and you get to watch three three movies free a week, and it could be anything. It does. It's not restricted to just two D movies like the Movie Pass version. You can see three D, IMAX, Dolby Cinema, whatever, whatever AMC has, you can watch it, and it's part of the free uh, one of the free movies that you can or you know that you can reserve. So uh-huh. I like it. You should try it out. We'll see. <laughs> Any last words? You can follow us on Bits for You podcast <laughs> on Twitter, and uh, write, give us a review as well on on your favorite podcast app if it has a review option. Uh, Google Play has a sorry, Google has their own podcast app now. Before that was part of the Google Play Music, now it's called Google Podcasts. So subscribe there, uh, review us, say that Javier is sexy and Robert sexy, and they should hold hands while they record the episode, and we might just do that in the future. So. Uh, you might do that with your brother. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you later. All right. So thank you for listening. Uh, just a reminder, share this uh, with anybody that uh, is going to have uh, enjoy this. Uh, share it also on sh- social media. Uh, you know, the big ones, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, I wanted to give a shout out. So. I've interacted with uh, a podcast on Twitter a few times. Uh, they're known as C and C Geek Cast. Uh, great, great podcast. I came up, I stumbled upon them when they did the review for one of my favorite movies of 2015. Was it 2015? Yes, I think it was. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road. I was going through um, my podca- podcast app. And they were they were there. It just they just came up. Mad Max is 
one of my favorite movies of that uh, that year, as I mentioned, and they they do great, hilarious, um, you know, like just very good in depth podcasts of movies, and they're typically like half an hour, so they they cover a lot in that half an hour time frame. So they recently gave me a, a shout out. On the episode they did, I think, I think I believe it was a Demolition Man episode. Um, one of my favorite movies. So it was, it was, it was, it was perfect timing. I mean, I didn't even know they were doing a, a podcast on Demolition Man. Do you remember Demolition Man, babe? Yeah. Uh, Sylvester so Stallone, Wesley Snipes, <laughs> Sandra Bullock. <laughs> that was such a great little science fiction action movie for its time. Um, but they do, they, they, when they do a podcast, they, they give their thoughts on it. They also go and, and give like a little bit of trivia here and there of the production. Uh, they know their stuff. These guys know, you know, directors, actors, writers, uh, just like me. So CNC geek cast, uh, you can f- listen to them in, in podcast apps everywhere. I also want to give a shout out. So we have been recently we are international babe i wanted to mention that to you did you know that so (laughs) i'm gonna start since we're in a lot of countries have have been listening to us uh over the past few months i'm just gonna mention the 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 last 10 that i'm gonna work my way up so uh shout out to the ukraine yes we have listeners there thailand we have a few listeners there Slovakia, Portugal, Kuwait, yeah, Guyana, Guatemala, Greece. Let's see how many? How many have I given there? Finland, Algeria. I said ten, but I'm, I'm just gonna. Give 11 because this last one, my wife is going to know very, 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 very well. The Dominican Republic. Oh, oh shit. People in DR are listening to the Bits For You podcast. Oh, we have a few listens there. So, shout out to all those countries. Badass. Yep. Thank you all. And that's it. See you next time.